Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm the type of person who gets bored after cooking the same meal a few times, and the type who does not like to wear the same fragrance too often. And so, the other day I woke up feeling so off. I was restless because I think I had been inside for too long, and that monotony made me kind of bummed. I randomly decided to just go out, have fun, and treat myself. Surprising to no one, manga and merch are how I treat myself. So, on a rainy day, when a young lady such as myself needed retail therapy and healing, where better to go than nerdy heaven Kinokuniya? Funny enough, the last time I was free enough to visit was last year's manga shopping vlog, so it's been a while. The difference now is that I did not come prepared with a list of manga I want to check out or what volumes I need. I know, rookie mistake. Like starting a final boss battle without upgrading any of my weapons. It's fine, retail therapy is not meant to be meticulously planned. I did give myself a budget though, no more than $75. My hope was that by trying to honor a budget, I wouldn't go overboard. I think retail therapy is fine, as long as you're shopping within your means. Be a little reckless, but control it too. Anyway, because I did not come prepared with a plan, I came up with one on the spot. I wanted to buy manga that would either energize me or be completely new to me. So with that in mind, I started wandering around and looking at whatever caught my eye. I love going to bookstores, but I actually hate crowds, without really thinking, which was the theme of the day. I chose a popular time to visit, and the store was filled. I think the rain also contributed. I can't name a better place than a bookstore to spend a rainy afternoon. It was fun overhearing people discuss what series they liked or who their favorite characters were. I was tempted to ask them for recommendations, but... I don't know, that would have been a little weird, right? <laughs> I really like just looking at manga. Pixels are all the same size online, but seeing the gigantic Berserk and the teeny tiny Sasuke and Miyano was so interesting. And then seeing in person which manga are popular, like how much space do certain series take up? Spy Family, for example, was a manga I've wanted to check out for a long time. Logically, I should have just read it in Shonen Jump since I already paid for it, but because this was retail therapy, logic did not apply. So I picked up the first volume. Just being surrounded by books is so healing. All of these stories are just waiting to be enjoyed and shared. I love the Japanese manga selection at Kinokuniya. I know it's really easy these days to buy Japanese books online, but it feels thrilling to be able to buy them in store. I desperately wanted to pick up more volumes of Honey Lemon Soda, but again, because I came unprepared, I didn't know which volume I needed next, so I picked up the most recent volume instead. Something I've always wanted to do was buy my friend's favorite manga and check them all out. I don't know about anyone else, but I really like knowing what someone's favorite things are, whether it's a song, a book, or a dish. It feels like such a special treasure to know what someone loves. And you know, maybe we can actually start that today. If you want to, please let me know what your favorite manga are. I seriously would like to check it out. I'm really glad that I decided to just go for it and go out that day because I felt so recharged after. My feet were aching, but my heart was so full. Sticking to the same boring schedule every day is so not fun, and it's invigorating to mix things up. Before I forget, if you also are going manga shopping, do not be like me and hold your books with the same arm the entire time. The day after filming this, my arm was so sore. But I guess this was also my body's reminder of the fun I had. If you're curious about the manga I picked up and my thoughts on them, I'm going to talk about them in my June manga haul. I know there's plenty of time left in May, but I actually already filmed May's manga haul. I'm particularly excited to start the case files of Jeweler Richard because I had never heard of this manga before, but then when I got home and told one of my friends about it, they were so excited for me to read it. And that brings us to the end of my manga shopping trip. The other day, I asked if people would prefer a voiceover or not for this video, and almost everyone wanted some kind of voiceover. So I hope this was entertaining for you. I had a lot of fun talking about my day. If you also had an off-kilter day like I did, I hope you can also take some time to enjoy some manga. 
as always, I hope you're safe, happy, and healthy. Bye for now.